Okay, pause the video and write all this down. So linear independence is a often difficult topic. Linear, lost my L here. Um, difficult topic. So, you know, don't be shy about watching these videos more than once. Okay, I'm gonna motivate the definition before hitting you with it. Um, okay, looking at the diagram, you can see that V and W are certainly connected some way. And okay, W is 3V. Okay, but U and V, you know, are not. Um, so that's very, very roughly what we're talking about. So U and V are independent, and V and W are dependent. Okay, we're going to be more precise about that. Okay, so pause the video and write all this stuff down. Okay, we'll see it. We'll say that a set of vectors are dependent if there exists an equation like this that relates them. Um, so this is called a dependence relation. Um, we have a minus 3 here, and we have a 1 in front of W. So because those numbers, this one, this one, because those aren't both 0, we say this is a non-trivial non -trivial dependence relation. So that is the definition we'll take for uh, vectors to be dependent is that there exists a non-trivial dependence relation between them. Okay, but for U and V, there is no meaningful linear relation. between them. So between, between, betwixt, between U and V. Okay, I can't say that U is 6 times V, or I can't write down something like this. Uh, well, like with, uh, you know, non-zero coefficients. So in fact, the only relationship the only relation is the non-meaningful not meaningful. So we'll use the word trivial. <clears throat> equation. Well, I can't get something like this. I cannot get something like this. Closest I can get is uh, zero u plus zero v is equal to zero vector. Okay, this is obviously not meaningful. You know, it doesn't give me any information about u and v. This equation up here does give me information about V and W. So that's my definition. Oops. So I'm going to write down, it's going to be very mathy, but that's the idea. A set of vectors. Uh, let's go V1, 
v2 all up to v uh, let's go m and let's make them all an rn uh, linearly um, let's say dependent if we have some relationship so Okay, so what I'm writing down now is like, uh, I'm trying to write down this type of thing. Okay, basically, non-trivial linear combination equals zero. Plus a m v m is equal to zero. And the stipulation is that a1, a2, these numbers cannot be all zero. Not all zero. Underline. 